Hello everyone, Brian from Sue Generis Brewing here. It is Sunday, June 11th, and it is time for another update on the 50 meter beer project. I think the first thing you might notice is it is starting to rain, and thank goodness it is. It's been almost 30 days since it last rained here. I've had to water the barley crop, which is a bizarre thing to do. The new hot plants have been struggling because even though you would water them, they'd be dry again within a few hours. So we need this, and we actually got a fair amount coming. Uh, today we're supposed to get 20 millimeters, which is about one inch and we should be getting two and a half to three times that over the week and that's exactly what we need just a long slow soaking rain to hopefully get everything green and growing again that said even with those challenging conditions things have moved along pretty well in the last 10 days we had the weather cool down a bit and that seemed to be enough to take the pressure off of the plants and as you can probably see here the barley has started forming heads so this here is the bear barley so this is the six row barley that dates back to the viking age and you can see it's formed really nice heads, it's got a big beard on it, uh, kind of like mine. And uh, you know, they look really healthy. Uh, there's all uh, very even kernels. All the kernels are the same size, which is all a good sign for a potentially a good crop. You can't see it in this shot, but right next to me is the Harrington. That's the more modern two row variety that I'm growing. It emerged a little bit later than the bear, so the heads aren't quite far as far along in their development, but they are developing well. And just like the bear, the kernels look nice and even, everything looks nice and symmetrical, which is a good sign and we'll hopefully have a good harvest from both. The second thing that's happened while I was gone is the original hop plant, the mother plant, has gone crazy. I'm not surprised uh, the Canadian red vine strain of hops is notorious for just turning into a giant bush. So I need to trim that back today. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trimming it in two different ways. I'm going to be trimming back any ground growth because we really want to stick to those four main uh, shoots that I've cultured upwards. But out of those four main shoots, I'm also going to trim them up a little bit. And the reason for that is Canadian red vine is fairly sensitive to some of the mildews out there. It's not resistant like more modern strains are. And because of that, uh, you want to keep the foliage up and off the ground as much as possible because where those mildews tend to come from is from the ground. And so when the rain hits the ground, it splashes soil up and that soil then carries it onto the plant. So by trimming that foliage up a little bit, we should help to limit some of that. Now, in addition to uh, that stuff, there's a few other kind of exciting things that have gone on the farm. We have had two more baby goats born since the last video. So these ones don't have names yet. Uh, but they are, as are all baby goats, extra adorable. Uh, in addition, I got two nucleus hives uh, for my apiary, so I now am up to three beehives, because last video I told you I had captured a swarm, and I now have these two additional hives that I've installed. So the apiary is almost back up to full strength, so I might get a bit of honey this year. So if maybe my barley crop is a little wanting, I can up the gravity of my brew with a bit of honey. So that pretty much updates you as to the progress of this project. Uh, the barley is doing well. Some of the hops are struggling, but the mother plant is doing quite well. Uh, we might have some honey coming, and the garden is finally starting to grow up a little bit more, so hopefully I can start working on capturing some wild yeast, which of course is the one sort of missing part of this project that I haven't started yet. So with that, I'm Brian. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you in a week or two when we come to the next video.